Hello, my dear Capricorn friends. Well, we've made it. We are almost in 2021. So it's about time to, to share some lights with you. And what is 2021 holding for you? Well, it's, it's an important year <clears throat> because the ruler of your chart is Saturn. And uh, it has just moved into the sign of Aquarius where Saturn rejoices. One of the favorite signs of Saturn. Actually, Saturn prefers Aquarius over Capricorn because Saturn is a masculine planet and Aquarius is also masculine. So it's quite an, <coughs> uh, a, a very important year for you, which can be marking your next two decades. So, you know, you had your Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto conjunction going on um, in the sign of Capricorn in 2020, and it could have been a very challenging year, especially if your <coughs> rising sign is, you know, between 20 to 29 degrees, so in the very last decan. And you might have been more depressed in 2020 because Pluto is all about destroying things. Saturn is all about building things up. <coughs> I'm sorry about coughing, but I've got a little bit of a flu. But I want to be sharing some very important information with you today because I think uh, 2021 is the year of changes for you. Now, this Saturn-Jupiter conjunction which has taken place recently is happening in your second house. So the major topic for you in, uh, in um, 2021 is your self-worth, your values, your finances, your confidence level. So you're gonna have to kind of ask a couple of questions yourself. Uh, what area of life am I too rigid? What area of life I'm lacking confidence? What is kind of holding me back? You know, in the last couple of years, you went through a transformation on a personal level. You might have lost weight. You, your perspective to life <coughs> might have changed. How you approach your entire life. Uh, whenever you've got a transit going through, um, uh, the first house, you're never going to be the same person after. Most probably you had to become more serious about life and even limiting your logic a little bit and sometimes listening to your intuition as well. Let's not forget that uh, Capricorn is an earth sign and earth is fed by water. So think about the trees, the nature, the ground. And uh, if you embra embrace the intuitive side in 2021, which, which is one of your karmic lessons for the year, then actually it could be a super good uh, period of time for you. But you're going to have to find balance between your everyday activities and your spirituality. Learn it a little bit to follow your gut instincts. You must have had uh, to focus on you you had to focus on yourself in 2021 you had to kind of learn practical skills and now you have to integrate those practical skills into your everyday life as well as into your spiritual realm the main aspect of 2021 is the saturn uranus square and i'm going to be making a video of that what to expect on a global level because in my opinion, there is going to be some protests, demonstrations going on and so forth. But um, I will post it in the upcom uh, upcoming weeks so you can even get ready deeper. But on a, on a personal level, uh, Saturn is all about regulations and rules and moderation and past and the past. And then Uranus is all about rebellion. Uranus is going to be telling you, no, don't be too rigid. Now, let's just come up with some new ideas. Let's be more um, innovative. Let's jump ahead of time a little bit. We don't need to always use things which have been tested before or worked before. 
because those things are not going to be working out greatly anymore. So uh, you need to learn to be okay with, with um, different things entering your life. You have to embrace the energy. And this tension is going to be happening between your second and fifth house. So as I said, um, second house is about your values. So you're gonna have to think about what's important to you. What matters the most? Is it something to do with the meaning to life? Or is it something to do with your relationship? Or is it something to do with how much I can love others and how much they love me for who I am? Or is it money? Is it material world? Well, we do, we did need to learn about this self-love and how important the intangible things are in life. And you're going to carry on learning about that because of the nodes being in your 12th house as well as Neptune sextile in your second um, decan, especially if you have got uh, planets there or your rising sign is falling. Uh, within 10 to 20 degrees. So um, questions which you're gonna have to ask yourself in 2021, why am I limiting myself financially? What new ideas can I come up with which I can make money out of? Actually, am I expressing myself the fullest? Am I the highest possible version of myself which I can uh, achieve? Uh, this year, for instance, you can launch a product, but you have to believe in yourself. Remember, Saturn is all about hard work, stepping out of your comfort zone. And all these can actually help you achieve a better financial situation. <clears throat> you must be dedicated, hardworking, investing every ounce of yours into a project which you are extremely passionate about which you feel that it's going to bring out the true personalities, uh, the, uh, the true personality traits of yours. You, you can even come up with some weird ideas. It can relate to technology, astrology, uh, websites, and so forth. You're going to have to enjoy your hobbies more. Turn your hobbies into a profession. On a relationship level, the singles should be a little bit careful this year because um, um, Capricorn is all about finding a partner for ever, basically for good. But uh, Uranus can make you a little bit careless and you might be flirting around. And also that Neptune sextile in your rising sign might be bringing in some well, beautiful people into your life and <clears throat> you might want to go on partnership with them, but then eventually you, you, you realize that that's not really you. Definitely you are going to be receiving chances in 2021 to form relationships because Venus, which is the planet of love, will be in Capricorn for most of January, November and December as well. And not to mention that uh, Venus is going to be retrograde in your sign in 2021, December and January as well. So if you wanted to move on from a relationship, then these could be the period of times when you can do that. If you have been single, then actually this is a time to revisit some of your uh, love topics. And especially, I would say, it's going to be important for you if you have got a Venus ruled perfected year or you have got um, a house, a perfected house, which includes Venus in there. Then definitely love is going to be somehow uh, the major topic for you. This year is very much about testing your um, self-esteem. But somehow... <clears throat> kind of bringing out the creative self of yours as well. So as I said, you are going to be having North Node and South Node in your six and 12 house axis. So having North Node um, in the sixth house is very much about focusing on your health, probably um, um, coming up with some new health regimes, 
maybe you want to be changing your lifestyle, you're going to have to realize that, okay, I've done so much work. Now I have to balance it out. I have to be focusing on, uh, for instance, relationship and my hobbies as well. <clears throat> Somehow it is about getting rid of some of your unhealthy habits. Are you smoking? Uh, are you not eating well? Are you trying to take in uh, more natural food and so on? Um, and your health could have been challenged, especially in the last one year. And now you're going to have to find your inner spiritual self and bring the existing wisdom uh, within you to a practical level because the North Node is in the sixth house. Um, in the recent years, you had to gain plenty of knowledge. Now the question is, how can I start practicing those? So I'll give you a very silly example. You know, let's say you had toothache um, and you have done plenty of research about uh, why people have got toothache. Maybe you have had a look at it from a spiritual perspective from a, pra a practical perspective as well. So you gather the data. But now the importance is that, what am I going to be doing about it? How am I going to prevent the next time? So uh, 12 hours is very much about giving up on things, some toxic ways of living, some toxic um, behaviors, which is kind of spoiling my surrounding as well. So the question this year is, how are you going to heal those? You're going to have to go on a health journey, basically. And because uh, your rising sign uh, is Earth, uh, of course, it very much depends on your entire chart. But if you have got plenty of Earth in your chart, definitely it's all about uh, reconnecting with nature, eating more green stuff, or something which is growing under the ground. Also, this North Node can help you expose some of your enemies. Um, you might have been um, having people in your life who were not necessarily supportive, and you will get to know those. Um, I would say that <clears throat> if you want to look at what exactly you need to learn this year, you might wanna be looking at the natal placement of your Mercury as well, because you're gonna to have to learn uh, about that area of life as well. So for instance, uh, because the North Node is in your sixth house, which means uh, learning some practical skills about how to heal. Now, if you have got Mercury natally in the ninth house, then it might be through learning, through traveling, through some type of adventure, learning languages, and so on. As I said, um, uh, Neptune is going to be sextiling your rising sign, and uh, it's going to be happening, well, somewhere around 18 to 23, 22 degree this year. So it can help you actually to feel more connected in a spiritual way to others. It might make you more sensitive to other people and your environment as well. So even you might decide to be more charitable uh, in regards to dogs, or you wanna be doing something productive about um, protecting the environment. Uh, this spiritual journey might, um, or this spiritual journey or this <laughs> enlightenment uh, may involve groups or meditation or dreaming studies, meeting new gurus, uh, tarot readers, astrologers, psychics, psychotherapists, and so on. Those actually can help you this year quite a lot. Uranus will also uh, try in your <coughs> uh, rising sign this year, especially those ones who have got their rising sign between 6 to 13 to 14 degree. And that Uranus is going to allow you to make <coughs> very important changes in your life without the usual disruption that big changes uh, uh, often bring. So it might make you very enthusiastic. You might become more, uh, you might become bubblier. 
people are going to get to know your bubblier side of personality. So that is also uh, helping you to connect with others more. So I think um, you were the most affected in 2020. <clears throat> and now it's time to enjoy life a little bit more. And I think you are going to be receiving opportunities, especially from March, April onwards. Now, I wanted to also mention that um, Jupiter is going to be shifting to your third house. And that's going to be in the middle of the year, between May till um, early August. Now, that could bring you um, a lot more faith in the society, as well as connecting with others. So if you wanted to promote, for instance, your business, that could actually be a great time to do so. Um, it gives you um, um, kind of energy to, to sell your product or, or um, to promote your business or even build a website for yourself. If there is a, maybe you want to be doing a web shop, that could be very beneficial for you. But on a whole level, your communication style is going to be changing. And that's good because you can connect with more people, not just on a spiritual level, as well as on a physical level. I would like to wish you a beautiful Christmas, uh, a, a prosperous 2021. And, and I also would like to thank you to support my channel in 2020. And I'm hoping to see you more often in 2021 as well. Take care of yourself, everyone, and have a lovely holiday season. Bye-bye.